The, the, the biggest question this week is about Chris Cyborg's weight cut. Uh, how, are, you, are you afraid that, that she might not make weight for the uh, You know, I have signed a contract in 140 pounds and I will fight in, in 140. Usually I fight 135. She's a professional, so I think that she will make weight. Otherwise, it's, it's her problem. I will fight in 140. Uh, Cyborg tweeted that uh, she she has to make 140 and that's, that she doesn't have up this this extra pounds. Is that the same case for you? You have to make 140? Yeah, yeah. I, I have to make 140 as well. Yeah, of course. But you don't have that, this extra yeah, pounds of allowance 141? Yeah, I, I, think, I think both me and her has the, the extra pound because it's not a title fight, you know. For me, it doesn't matter, you know. I'm, I'm quite light right now, so I just have to, to drop a few pounds, you know. So for me, it's, it doesn't matter at all. Do you somehow feel bad for her, like watching how much she suffers to make 140, or she's under contract? That's her problem. Yeah, that's her problem. You know, she has been doing this for years, so and it's a it's a part of the game. You know, to win, to win a fight, you have to make weight. That's it. Would you have would, would you have, have said yes uh, if the UFC offered you a fight, a fight at 145, or you wouldn't take the fight at 145? Uh, from the beginning, maybe I would take the fight in 145. You know, but. But still, you know, I do fight in 135 usually, and um, right now the contract is in 140, and she has known that for, for months, so so it's no question about it, you know. Talking about you now, most, most of the fans in Brazil don't know anything about you. What, what can you say, can you say them, to, to them about you, your style, or what, what you can do? To the, about me, you know, uh, I started many, many years ago with, uh, with Thai boxing, and I've been fighting Thai boxing for for forever, you know. I have like 80 fights or something like that in, in Thai boxing. Uh, and I began MMA uh, in 2012, where I won the Swedish Championship, the Nordic, the European Championship, and the World Championship in Thai boxing all at once uh, in one year. So then I decided I needed to do something more. And it was really, you know, these really thin gloves in MMA that, uh, that made me fall in love. So. So that's why I, I shifted to, to the MMA. And, uh, you know, I, I do like, like to go to war, you know, and I do like to use my elbows because they cut, cut really well. And I, I do like blood, actually. <laughs> do, you, do you think your elbows are going to be uh, the difference in this fight to, 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 to take Cyborg down? Uh, not only, you know, I, I do have a lot of weapons, but, uh, but elbows is one of them, for sure. Cyborg's last loss was in a white side fight in the U.S. Did you did you watch that fight to to, to maybe see her after a few roll, holes in her game in the striking area? Something that she she, she doesn't usually show in the MMA box. Yeah, you know, I I saw that fight uh, at that time. I haven't watched it now, you know, because I've seen it before. So, you know, in, every, every every fight is different, you know. So it's quite difficult to watch one fight and see see any you know holes in, in her game, you know. But yeah. I know her, so. so but uh, how, how surreal it is to be here in the UFC, main event in a, a, a show in Brazil against Cyborg, one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. How, how surreal was it when the UFC calls you and offered this fight? Um, you know, I, I did expect the UFC to call, you know, because we, we have been in discussion with them for a long time. But of course, I didn't, didn't expect them to call me about Cyborg, you know both because she's heavier than me and also because you know because it's my my debut in the UFC uh, so of course it was was a big surprise you know and it was was a little bit surreal as well you know but but still it's like yeah of course just go for it of course I want to fight cyborg or it's, yeah not many fighters can say they made their their, their, their their debuts in the main events in the UFC how big <laughs> would would be uh, a win for you Saturday here uh, it would be, you know, it would be amazing. I could be a millionaire in months, you know. <laughs> Do you think that, that a win over her, even if it's a catch weight at 140, could maybe put you right into title contention at 135? I don't know, you know, about, about a title shot. It doesn't really matter, you know, because it's, it's so many of them on the top in, in the 135, you know, that is so great, you know. So it's so many of them that I, that I really want, want to fight. Mm -hmm. Just one last, last, last question. Most of the fans in Brazil expect you to just get in there and don't and get brutalized in the first round. And if it's exactly in one round and, and lose to Cyborg, uh, what do we do? Would you say to those friends? I I would just say that yeah, we'll see.